here's the deal. We're going to continue with our Broadway beat with a treat for you this morning. Get the spotlight ready. Because our first guest is a beauty. She's Grace. She is the lady of the lake, and she's demanding all of the attention. Feast your eyes on this shimmering superstar, Leslie Rodriguez Kritzer, the Manhattan-born New Jersey native, emerges from the lake eight nights mm. a week at the St. James Theater in the Tony Award-winning musical Spamalot. Mm -hmm. After a sold-out run in Washington, D.C., the show made its way back to Broadway in 2023, and it takes audiences on a hilarious music-filled quest to find their grail. Goodness. The energy. <laughs> the the energy. show quickly became the talk of the kingdom. Leslie has received accolades for her dynamic vocals that are making all of the Knights of Camelot shake in their armor. Not the armor. The armor. Without any further ado, sound the trumpets. <laughs> and please welcome the first lady, the lady of the lake. <laughs> We're calling the first lady of this show this morning, Leslie Rodriguez Kritzer. Coming. Gorgeous. You're gorgeous. This is like real cashmere. You're a real Broadway star. She's so trendy and chic. Look at her. It's a whole nut. That's a whole thing. That's a whole thing. Thank How you, you feeling? I feel great. I'm so excited to be yeah. here. So are we. You guys are stunning. Wow. You're stunning. And this show, oh my God. It yeah, is taking it is, the town by storm. It is so fun. We're having such a blast. I mean, I have never been part of a show where I really feel like we're all doing exactly what we do best. Mm -hmm. You have like a great group of comedic actors mm -hmm. in a big Broadway musical where it's kind of like Saturday Night Live sketch, but also a musical, and nice. that's very rare. So we're just having the time of our lives. It's to amazing. be a fly on the oh, wall. God. <laughs> what shenanigans happens backstage? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I have a lot of video. Um, Those I mean, we're always joking around. Like, think about it. We're dressed up as like knights in medieval costumes. It's like. We play dress up for a living and, and we're just ridiculous backstage. I mean, you have, you know, between Chris Fitzgerald and mm -hmm. Michael Urey and our cast is just, they're goofballs. Yeah. You know, we had Taryn Killam with us who just left. Now we have Alex Brightman coming in. Oh um, it's kind of like, uh, I can't, I'm not even the funniest. I mean, I, I'm funny, but these guys are cracking me up. Every time I walk off stage after my second act number, um, Michael Yuri and Chris Fitzgerald and Taryn, who just left us, used to do like this thing where they like, they know I'm walking off stage, and so they stage something every oh, day. Oh, come on. They literally birthed a, a fish. <laughs> what? A, a prop fish. Chris Fitzgerald did this labor thing. We have it on video. It is so funny. They During make the up show. something every night. When I walk, oh yeah, the show's continuing. This is backstage. <laughs> this is all backstage. This is all backstage. There's I've quick wondered. changes. I've always wondered what happens when, yeah. when you go off the, the we, stage in between. There's a whole other show this is happening backstage. Oh, it's the show behind the show. Yeah, that should be a TV show. Like there the you go. show behind the show because it's just as funny. I'd pay for that. And um, they're scene. like my brothers, you oh, know? My I'm like their sister. They're like my brothers. And we just, we have, they play these pranks on me all the time. They it. hide and then surprise me. It's like, oh my God. It's the best. Do you it's return the favor in kind? I don't, um, I don't because they're on stage all the time. <laughs> they're on stage all the time. Shucks. Although I should. <laughs> yeah, I should. Maybe right. I will. Just you just gave me an idea. Do. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Some, some, perhaps. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we want to go back to the beginning. Yes. I mean, your voice. Aww, Incredible. Thank you. Where did this passion come from? Did you, uh, did you always know that you were going to use that? You know, I didn't. I was a classically trained pianist. My dad was a musician and an accountant. Hi, Dad. The wow! Uh, he used worries. both sides of his brain. That's right. That's right. He he um, was a musician. So when I was young, I, sh I guess I showed signs of, of being musical. So a um, shout out to my first piano teacher who has now passed Carmelis this year from Chatham, New Jersey. 
Oh, keeping it real, Chatham, New Jersey. That's right. And my first voice teacher was in Chatham, New Jersey. Who was your first voice teacher? Jane Bennell, okay. who was a singer at the Met. But I grew up in Livingston. Oh, that's um, right. You're a Lancer. Yep. I'm, a, I'm a cougar. Uh, I know. I mean, <laughs> we always we always like the guys from your town. We go to the Short Hills Mall, like, oh, those oh, Chatham please, boys, please, with the white hats. Anyway, um, so so. <laughs> He got me into piano lessons, and then from there, I was like, I, I was really, really good, but in reality, I knew I belonged in front, you know? And then I started taking voice lessons and then doing the school plays, um, and they always supported me, both of my parents. And um, then I went to school to yeah. study musical theater. So it was really my father, but also I have to give a shout out to my teachers in Livingston. You know, Jackie Washak, who in seventh grade said, you have something, mm -hmm. you know? Um, and they all still come to my shows. My teachers from oh. middle school, from high school. Just gave me, uh, me too. Yeah, this Mrs. Katsaridis, like Mrs. all of them. Katsuri it's very important to have teachers like that, that see something they, and support They were support everything. Because that's an, that's an yeah. age two where that can get, you know. Yeah, you know, and it wasn't and it wasn't an easy time as we know. Oh, exactly, sure, seventh sure. grade, you said that and I shuddered. Woo. Can we get to the lady of yes. the lake? Yes, let's talk about the lady. <laughs> who who like, is yes, the lady yes. of the lake, if you, if you are unfamiliar? God, she's who I wish I was in real life. <laughs> the hair, I mean, the clothes, and she, every time I walk out is her. It's like a dream. I was joking with my uh, dresser, Jamie Bertaluzzi. I was like, God, this is so not who I am in real life, but this is a, a piece of me that mm -hmm. I get to play. She's just a diva. She's fabulous. And I get to play all different versions of her. So throughout the show, you have like the diva, you have the siren, mm -hmm. you have the comedic Camelot sort of lounge singer. And at the end, you have a very sincere, like Guinevere type of um, lady. So she's all different things. Um, which I should say, like, it, they all are a part of me, because I guess I couldn't there play her go. if they weren't. There you go. But, you know, Jen Caprio um, made these insanely yeah. gorgeous costumes for me. Channeling Beyonce. Cha the gold dress mm -hmm. uh, yeah. is, is a, inspired by a Beyonce costume she wore on tour. Dang. And uh, it is it Do definitely... Do you get to keep it? Everyone asks me this. <laughs> Unfortunately, no. Oh, my God. Um, uh, but it is probably the most beautiful costume, one of the most beautiful costumes I've ever worn. And all the little girls at the stage door go, oh, I love your costumes. I go, which one do you love best? And they go, the gold. Of course. Oh, oh my God. And so, and, and everyone loves that outfit, yeah. but it's so cute. The, the kids at the stage door just love them. So it oh, makes me happy. God. And the hair, being a redhead. The, Stop it right That makes me want to go, go red. I know, and it's hard. It's the upkeep is hard, but I know. it's beautiful, yeah. Um, the St. James Theater, yes. that's where it's at. Not your first time. No. You were there back in 2016 with something brought in. Yes. Spe how special is it to be back? Well, first of all, I love working at the St. James. The entire, from top to bottom, the front of house, um, everyone there is just like top notch. We all are a family. Mm -hmm. The ushers, they all remember me from uh, the shows. I mean, wow. it truly is a family, oh but the most, the, the most special part is that my mother who passed away in May, this past year, um, it was the last theater that she saw me in a Broadway show in, the last theater. Wow. Um, she never saw me in Beetlejuice because she got very ill. So when I look out into the <clears throat> audience every night, you know, I feel her, especially our first preview when I sang my song, like my big song, I was like, oh, she's here. Oh and uh, the day after she passed away, I walked into tech rehearsal at the Kennedy Center. So um, this whole show was has been very um, important to me, mm -hmm. and I really like believe that you know she passed at the right time and she knew mm -hmm. and she's with me every night. I do the show for her oh. every single night. I do it for her and she was fierce. She was more late to the lake than me. <laughs> oh well, now we know where you get the influence. That's from. right. So it's very special. That's right. It's very very special. Well, Leslie, you yes. are such a joy. Thank you so much. Thank you for sharing time with us. I cannot wait to see us. this show. Oh, yeah. you're gonna love it. And please come back and say hi to us. Well, absolutely. Congratulations. Only if you come back here. <laughs> And visit I will. us again. I and will. We know you're working on 10 things at the same time, so yes. kudos to you. Yes. Thank you. Come back. Thank you so much. This one's a star. Thank you.